In this video, we will be installing Spalab's EGR Delete for 2010 through 2024 Cummins 6.7 liter engines. In the box from Spalab, you'll have all the bracketry, hoses, fittings, and hardware necessary for this installation. To begin the installation, start by loosening the EGR valve crossover tube from the EGR cooler to the EGR valve. Then we can remove the clamps and the crossover tube itself after disconnecting all of the sensors and clamps holding the crossover tube to the engine. Finally, we can disconnect the sensor and remove the tube from the engine altogether. Next, the EGR valve itself can be removed from the intake elbow. Make sure to remove the gaskets as well. The Spalab kit includes new gaskets, and now we can install the blocker plate onto the intake elbow, where the EGR valve used to be. With the intake side done, we can move on to the exhaust side and start by disconnecting the bracketry, the heat shields, and disconnect the sensors and plugs from the EGR cooler itself and then remove the entire EGR cooler from the engine. With this portion of the EGR cooler bracketry and mounts and everything disconnected, we can remove the entire EGR cooler valve assembly.
Next, we can disconnect the CCV connection at the valve cover and set that aside. And before anything drops into the exhaust manifold, we want to put the blocker plate on with the original gasket and the original nuts. Now we can remove the valve cover so that we don't have to trim any of the plastic off of the valve cover to get this coolant hose out of the way. not drain the coolant already, you will lose some coolant when pulling this hose. With all of the exhaust manifold hardware removed, we can now pry the EGR cooler backwards and then lift it up out of the engine bay. Next, the EGR cooler bracket that holds it to the exhaust manifold can come off entirely. There are multiple bolts holding it to the exhaust manifold from underneath the bracket. With that bracket out of the way, now we can install our rear blocker plate for the exhaust manifold. We're going to reuse the factory hardware and gasket as well. At this point, both blocker plates are tight with their original hardware and gaskets. Next, we can install the coolant reroute hose that goes to the coolant riser and connects to the engine block. The black spalab bracket is used to keep that coolant hose in place and also keep the exhaust temperature sensor in place. Finally, we can add our coolant hose from the engine block to the coolant riser. In most applications, this coolant hose will have to be trimmed to fit. With these two hose clamps tight, we are done with this installation and the EGR delete is complete. Thank you to Spalab for providing high quality and good looking parts. We look forward to doing more Spalab installation videos.